Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and behind me I have my fleet of X Tool laser cutters. And in today's video, we are going to focus on the laser cutting files themselves. Now, it's easy to get caught up with those promotional videos, seeing these amazing things that these machines can do. But the main thing you're going to want to focus on is actually not the machines themselves, but the files that go into the machines. Now, most of you, like me, are not graphic designers. We don't know how to make all these complicated files. So in today's video, we're gonna focus on where do you find these SVG files that you're gonna to need to run these machines. So with that being said, let's jump on that laptop and get started on where I find my files to run my X tool laser cutters. All right, we got the computer up. Now, the first thing I'm gonna to go to is just the actual X tool Creative Space software. So we'll pull that up here. And there's really a ton of, ton of files that are just already built into that. So I don't know how familiar you are with the software, but you can go to, um, I obviously have the text and stuff, but if you go to the shape here and you kind of scroll through and it's got all, you got basic shapes, borders, plants, animals, festival, all this stuff. And so let's go to animals. And now here is all these different choices that come right with the software. So you're not even looking online for anything. Say you want to uh, say you want to owl with some big eyes. So you get that owl in there and it's all ready to go right in that software. You can make it up. Oh, I probably uploaded two of them. We'll delete one, but so there you go. You got uh, I'll delete a little bit more there. So you're, you're going to have options just right in the actual software without even looking anywhere else. So another fun thing is you can do patterns. So say you want to do an ornament or whatever, and you can kind of choose, say you want the back of an ornament to, I don't know, be all cut out. So they have all these different patterns you can do. Um, so you can choose to engrave, cut, whatever. And so really there's, there's really a nice selection of options just right in the software without having to, to go search anywhere else. So hopefully if you can kind of find, find what you're looking for, let's just look at a festival real quick. A lot of, a lot of Halloween stuff there. Um, you're probably going to have some snowflakes, I bet. Yep. For Christmas. I don't know. So yeah. So definitely check out uh, just in the main software before, uh, before you go anywhere else because you might be able to just find what you need right in there. All right, moving on from that Xtool software, we can get out of that. My uh, other highly recommended uh, free, free SVG uh, spot to find files is uh, the Noun Project. So that's not the notebook. <laughs> there we go, the Noun Project. So as we load it up, so the Noun Project is going to have, it's got, what is it, icons and photos for everything. So you're going to have a million different, search over five million icons, different things to search for. Now this is, this is basically free. Well, let's, let's kind of see how it works. So let's, we'll, we'll search for a fish here. And now it's pulling up. So now you're going to have all these different fish, fish to choose from. And so... Yeah, you can, I don't know, there's probably going to be a ton of different ones to choose from. But so say we find a fish. Oh, this, this is what we're kind of looking for. So we go on the fish, get this icon. Now here are going to be your options. So you can get kind of what month paid here. So for three, 333 a month, you can get this Noun Pro Unlimited. Also, you can just pay three bucks for the single one. So if you just want one, it's a one-off, you're never gonna use it again. Or you can also get the basic download, which is free. So you got black only, no edits, must attribute creator per creative community license. So this kind of stuff, so if you're just, this kind of gets in more if you're trying to sell stuff, I guess. If you're just kind of doing one-off for personal use, you can just definitely get just a basic download download it if you're doing a Tumblr or whatever you want to do. So to me, this, this website's a really great option for free or paid, I, I guess, you, de depending on your use. But definitely for personal use, um, you can kind of just see some examples there. Basically anything, let's, I don't know, what have I looked up before? Football player, zero turn, yeah, we'll do zero turn mower. Uh, I made a keychain, I think. 
Yeah, I made a keychain like that. So even something as random as possibly a zero turn mower, they did have an icon for that. And I bet you they got, let's just try mower here. Yeah. So I don't know. So there's, there's definitely a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of possibilities for the noun project. So I really recommend that website as well. So there we got a couple of free options. Um, and now let's, let's hop over to, I guess, what would be my favorite paid option. So let's do that. All right, so there really is only one main paid site I go to, and that is, probably heard of it, Etsy. So Etsy's going to have, a t so that noun project, kind of you, you're getting a lot of individual uh, little icons. Same with uh, Xtool Creative Space software. But Etsy's awesome if you just want a whole kind of package item. So I like to do a lot of door hangers. So let's just do door hangers, SVG. So uh, you usually want to search the SVG because that's the type of file um, your laser cutter is going to use. So once again, we're just going to be, we're just going to have a ton of options. So it's probably Valentine's Day. But so, and to me, these are always usually very reasonably priced. So look at this home sweet home for what, $2.99, three bucks. So pretty basic one. Um, some of this stuff, like you could probably, it wouldn't be probably super hard to design the software. This home there, that's definitely a, a different font that you're probably not gonna find in the Xtool software. But, so yeah, so some of these, some of these things you could definitely create on your own, but then you have something like this. So for five bucks, I mean, this is pretty, this would take quite a while as my internet's kind of slow here. So I'll go back to that. This to me would take a long time to design with those flowers because they're layered. You have layer upon layer, it looks like. And so, I mean, there's, there's spring bundles, 18 bucks. Uh, Mega but I mean there's there's just so much to choose choose from and so this is just I don't know it's hard to it's hard to beat Etsy I feel like as far as I mean look at this, this is a really cool one <laughs> I guess it's so easy to go down the rabbit hole looking at these files where you're like oh that's cool that's cool camping bundle I mean it's I don't know and for the price so you get a, a, a whole bundle for 18 bucks and then you have the files What's also really nice to do in the Xtool software is, so say you upload your, let's, let's say you upload your door hanger, and I don't, I don't have one to pull up, but we'll, we'll do that circle there. And I'll, I'll double circle it for some reason. And so you got your, let's pretend like this is your door hanger. Well, you can see the size of it up, up here, and so it's super easy to just, if you want a little door hanger, if you want a big door hanger, basically as big as sometimes your laser cutter will allow, you, it's, it's so easy to scale these things, um, to upsize them, to make small ones. You can, a lot of times you can make them small, you can make actually a Christmas ornament out of them, you can really shrink them down. So just a lot of, a lot of options there. So to me, it, it's just really hard to beat Etsy as far as uh, as far as the price and for all the different options. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I mean, it's it's fun to just kind of kind of look through those things. So, so that's my recommendation for the paid options. So we have your free, we have the paid, and now we're kind of going into a whole different territory for that last one as far as as far as kind of just pulling images off on from online offline, I guess turn them into SVG and uh, go on that route. So let's move on to that. All right, for the final one here, we're gonna head over to Google. And all right, so this next one, we're basically gonna just pull images off, uh, off from online, I guess, offline, and we're gonna turn them into SVG. Now, it's very important to remember that you don't want to be like stealing these images, I guess. So if there's a paid version, I always suggest you just pay the few bucks you get the image that you're going to use. Sometimes that might not be the case. You're looking for a specific image. It's to me a little gray area, especially for personal use. I definitely won't be just pulling random images and trying to sell those, I guess, uh, like on tumblers or whatever. You definitely want to 
have those paid for if you didn't create them and make sure you're all squared away there. But I feel like there's circumstances where you just, you need a certain image. You're just kind of making it for personal use. You can't buy it or I don't know. You don't even know who created it. It's online. So we're kind of going through that, that situation. So what I like to do is basically we'll just, uh, let's do owl SVG. We saw owl at the beginning on the X tool software. And so usually if you type SVG, some of these are gonna be for sale as well. So we get all these kind of, I don't know, black and white um, owls or whatever. And so let's click on this one. And now to create your own SVG out of this, because if you don't want to download it from there, what, what you can do is you can go to the, the snipping tool here and you're basically going to just uh, grab that, that image there. So we'll snip that. We will save that. Let's, I'm going to save it to downloads. As you can see, I've saved it a bunch before. Uh, let's go level five. And I don't think it really matters if JPEG or whatever, but all right, let's, just, so we got that saved. So now, we're gonna to go to a website called Pick SVG. And so Pick SVG, so basically you're just gonna hit upload picture and we're gonna to go to, got a few of those owls there. And this is gonna automatically convert it to, to an owl. Now, as you can see there, you might have to do some uh, some tweaking as if you want the eyes or what's gonna what's gonna get cut out or not you also can do that in the software you also can try some of these yeah all right so these are going to kind of change what's highlighted and what's not so that looks pretty good so we got our our svg of the owl all right we're going to save that and now let's just Pop that up in the X tool creative space software. Uh, get the image there. All right, and there you got it. So it's so now it's in SVG format. You can tweak it whether you want to engrave, cut, whatever. So that's just kind of option. And like I said, if you can just pay whoever whoever made this, you can just pay them. I'm not trying to like cheat the system or whatever. But there's, I don't know, I feel like there's times where you kind of see an image, oh, that'd be nice to have on my own Tumblr. And I don't know, you can't find it anywhere, you can't pay for it or whatever. So that's just kind of a, a little option to easily create your own SVGs. All right, so there you have it. There's how I get my files. Now there are a million other places to get files. Those are just kind of the ones I focus on between the actual Xtool software itself Etsy, the noun project, and then also being able to kind of pull images from online and kind of convert them to that SVG format that you're gonna to need to run these machines. Now, if you are interested in the Xtool laser cutter, I will provide my affiliate link. Now, whenever you use that affiliate link, you're gonna get the best price on the machine. And also, I'll get a small commission for each sale. So it really helps out the channel when you use the affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more. You're getting the best price. Helps me a little bit, kind of win-win. So I really appreciate that. And with all that being said, I am Chad from Chad DIY, and we'll see you on the next one.